All right, welcome back, and let us do some cooking here on Wednesday. Last week, nearly nothing worked properly. Today, I think I think everything is going to go okay. Scan the uh, QR code on your screen with your smartphone, and it'll take you a link to today's recipe, which is perfect for Lent, really perfect for anyone. If you like Greek spinach pie, the spinach and feta pie, which is normally made, I'm taking that filling and stuffing it into salmon, and this could not be any easier. Uh, the first thing that you do is saute the vegetable ingredients. These are leeks, you can use scallions, a very, very mild onion flavor. Fresh dill has to go in it, spinach, and of course, uh, feta cheese, some onion and garlic in the whole uh, comp uh, comp uh, combination. And then this is what it winds up looking like. You have to let it cool off before you stuff it into the uh, salmon. So this is what it looks like. You could just eat this all by yourself. So then you get yourself a salmon filet. Uh, it's on sale nearly every place right now. A piece this big, I'm gonna cut into four pieces. I've left the skin on because it's a little easier to manipulate and put the stuffing in with the skin on and the skin will peel right off when it's done. So cut these guys into four pieces. And then the next thing you're gonna do is just cut a slight little pouch right into the side of each of these fillets. Couldn't be any easier. Put a little place where this spinach and feta mixture is gonna go. See if the skin were off here, the salmon fillet could be falling apart every place right now. Give yourself enough room to put a good dollop of the stuffing into each of these. And of course, when you know when you buy the salmon, make sure you're getting a piece that's got some depth to it so you can put the stuffing into it. That's not always the case when you go to the store, but even this, you know, the little tail end piece here, which is thinner than the rest, just cut a little smaller pouch into it and it still works. So then you take the cooled off spinach and feta dill mixture. It goes right into each piece of the salmon. Just gonna, I'm just gonna do uh, one of these right now because I just wanna show you the whole process. The mixture goes in, then salt it, pepper it, Put a little paprika on it. After it cooks up, the paprika is gonna be really pretty on top. Not too much, but just a little bit. Pat it down so the mixture stays in. Salt and pepper and paprika. The top of the salmon filet. Paprika. And then this is gonna go on a baking pan just like that. If we're gonna do the other ones, they would all go, you know, imagine these stuffed, and these are all gonna go on the baking pan. They go into a 425 degree oven for about uh, 20 minutes. That's all you need to uh, put on it. And when it's done, look how amazing these things look. Oh these are absolutely gorgeous. The salmon is cooked all the way through. Got some that I already made. And this is, this is what I do. I mean, some people don't mind leaving the skin on. I like taking the skin off and it comes right off. This peels right off so you don't even have to worry about it later on. And then this will go on your plate or in your serving dish. I'll just plate these all up here. Oh, absolutely beautiful this is. Perfect Friday Lenten dinner. Just a really perfect kind of, you know, healthy seafood dinner. Throw a little parsley on there. I put made some rice pilaf too. Uh, go along with it as well. 
This is an amazing dinner right here. Spinach and feta stuffed salmon fillets. You can get today's recipe by scanning the QR code that's on your screen with your smartphone. You can go to WGNTV.com slash Dean Cooks, or we'll automatically send you all my recipes every single week. If you text the word cooks to 97999. The ovens worked, everything worked this week. All I right. can't believe it, it's a miracle. All right, we'll be back uh, in just a minute, stick around.